guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today we're in the office here and uh, been getting a lot of calls recently about the Raven 440s, Raven 450s. Uh, you guys are firing up your sprayers and your applicators and needing some help. So I wanted to go over some common questions that we've got on these Ravens and just go over how to set them up and uh, some different things to do. So some of the things that you need to check on is to make sure that you've got the correct valve type chosen, um, whether it's a standard valve or maybe this thing's new to you and you, you just don't know. So what I like to do is uh, if you know how to operate the Raven, press down on the CE button and turn it on. And that does a master reset. And it gets us into the back side of the Raven where we choose our main options. So of course we're in US volume per acre, so we press enter. And then we pick what kind of radar we've got, wheel drive or radar. And typically I like to run radar. So we're gonna, you scroll with the CE button and you select with the enter button. So we go to radar, press enter, and this is where we choose our valve. We've got a standard valve, a fast valve, a uh, CFC, a PWM, and a PWM closed. If you're running a liquid system like a sprayer or something like that, most likely you're on a standard valve. If you're doing an anhydrous, you very likely could have a fast valve and uh, you could be doing some PWMs too, depending on what you're doing. So you scroll through here and pick what kind of valve that you're running. So I'm gonna choose the standard valve and press enter and once we do that we're done with the backside programming and now we need to start programming this top row and you see how it's flashing cow it is going to continue to flash cow until it's fully programmed so let's start programming it we hit our boom cow and boom one cow zero and basically you scroll through here and you can enter in boom two, boom three, boom four, all of your booms, and that is the width of your sections. So if I have a two boom system and each boom is 10 feet, for example, press enter, 10 feet is 120 inches, so one, two, zero, enter again, and so now my boom one cal is 120, I'll go to boom two, I'm gonna make it 120. So now I've got two sections, 240 total inches or 20 feet. So my booms are set up. Now the Raven knows how wide I'm spraying. Speed cal, that is a number associated with your radar sensor for the micro track or Astro that I like to use at 783. So we press enter before we can input any information. Seven, eight, zero, enter again. So now we've got our speed cow. Meter cow, that is a tag on your flow meter. Um, if it's a Raven flow meter, it's got a tag on it. This particular one, you can see it's got, says right there, cow. A lot of them have it on the white tag, but that number comes off of your flow meter. The only thing to remember is a lot of the new flow meters do that number per 10 gallons and it'll say that on the back of the tag and this is going to do it in per one gallon so you're going to have to do the math and what that number is is that is how many pulses this sensor is reading per one gallon so this thing is spinning and this is your sensor that is reading the propeller inside so if your number is 749 there's 749 pulses for one gallon that flows through here and that's how it, it does its metering. So that's your meter cal. Um, I'm gonna enter seven, four, nine, enter. And notice it's still flashing cal over here and that's because we're not finished. This cal will stop flashing and, and you'll see that. Valve cal, because we chose standard valve, most standard valve cows is two, one, two, three. There should be a sticker on your valve. From there, we go to rate one cow. So that's just what you want your rate to be. 
So enter, and let's just say I'm putting down 25 gallons. Now, don't forget you can't just hit 25 because there's a decimal point in there. You have to hit an extra zero to get 25 instead of 2.5. So now enter. So this is where a lot of people will get jumbled up here. They think they're finished. They entered everything, all their rates, but it's still flashing cow. You have to put in a rate two cow. Rate two is an alternate rate. So let's say every now and then I want to bump it up to 35. Enter, three, five, zero, enter. Now look, my cow went away. It now says rate. Well, everything masters on so it was trying to spray there um, but it wasn't getting flow my flow meter was saying no flow so it was beeping at me so now what i like to do is i like to sit in the barnyard and test this so now i hit self test enter five zero enter and now i just entered a speed so i turn my master on and this Raven is going to do everything as if I'm traveling five miles an hour. So turn your pump on, turn your sections on, one and two's on, I only have two sections, up to rate one, power's on. If my pump was running and I flip this on, everything should run. It'll beep here in a second. That's because obviously sitting here, I'm not getting any flow. But uh, that's a great way to test everything that you're doing. When you turn this master on and off, your section valve should turn on and off. You should be getting 12 volts back to them. Everything should start coming alive. So that's a quick uh, front to back on how you can restart this thing completely. If you're struggling with it, I like to reset it, reprogram, do a self-test, and then diagnose from there. Maybe the issue is that your section valves aren't opening, or maybe you've got a number wrong, or if your cow is flashing, uh, maybe that's the issue. So those are some simple things uh, that I go through. And uh, tune in to Fennig Equipment for more videos. And uh, if you need anything, feel free to give us a call. And thanks for tuning in.